So one of the questions that you have as someone applying for a visa through the H-2B program is what sort of entity you need to apply through. You're going to be an employer, you need to have an employment identification number. Well, the two preferred entities in, in my view are either a sole proprietor or an LLC. There's differences between the two in terms of what you can expect. Let's talk about them after the break. Hey, this is Damien Denhovel. This is Law Great, the channel where I give you reliable information to help you make better decisions and avoid costly mistakes. And this is video number high number in our H2B Nanny series. I hope you've been following along. We talked in previous videos about the overview of the H2B program and how it relates to bringing in a nanny. We talked about what it takes to qualify for the program. We talked about how to pick the perfect nanny. We talked about pitfalls uh, of, of all three agencies, the Department of Labor, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, the Department of State and Consulates involved in the process. We even talked about what it means to be ready to, to do this program, right? Are you ready as an employer? So today I want to get a little bit into the nitty gritty of LLC versus sole proprietor. An LLC is a limited liability company. Okay, simply put, um, it helps you limit liability. So if you employ somebody through an LLC and something happens that leads to a liability being created, you can, if it's structured correctly, limit that liability to just your company. What that means is like if you have an LLC that has, uh, let's say, $100 and your nanny trips in your house and she wants to sue you and the cost of suing you to you is $150, well, then the nanny could only get 100 because uh, you would be protected by that limited liability vehicle. Sole proprietorship doesn't give you that same sort of protection in theory. Now, that's something that you always want to consult with a lawyer about who's structuring your LLC, structuring your contract so that that LLC liability is uh, maintained. Okay. The other thing that's nice about an LLC is just strictly uh, in terms of organizing your application, you can give an LLC whatever name you want with a sole proprietorship. You're usually using some variant of your name. The names of companies in this program are publicly listed. And so there is an element of privacy to using an LLC vehicle. Both vehicles require you to get a federal employment ID number. Both require you to, you know, go through the state workforce agency. So there's no really administrative burden difference. The only other thing is that uh, I, I can't prove this, but an LLC might carry more weight um, on the one hand with the Department of Labor, but I have never had a sole proprietorship rejected. I could see the USCIS being maybe a little more skeptical of a sole proprietorship to, to employ somebody. I could see the Department of State officer being a little more skeptical right at the interview stage, whereas an LLC might have something. On the other hand, an LLC that's brand new can also be a great cause of skepticism. So I, I don't really see a big of a difference there. So I would say that the two big differences are number one, you, you, you do have a chance to limit liability with company. Number two, you get a little more privacy. Which one of those you do is totally up to you. Uh, but it's just something to think about. So uh, I'd encourage you to look at the internet a little bit more and, and research the difference. But that's that. That's a question um, that I get there. So that was a really quick video. Um, we have all these other videos here and here and here and here and here uh, that are in the series. So I hope you check them out and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Oh, 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 don't forget about the nanny book also here. Thanks.